Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Yesterday we have shared an update on AMCA by the ADA project director. Today there are few updates coming from LCO Mark 2. Speaking to ACNet News, the LCO Mark 2 project director had informed that the rollout of the fighter jet is expected by December 2023 and in worst case by March 2024. The fighter jet will take its first flight in next one year after the rollout, that is by December 2024. ADA has planned to build four prototypes by the end of year 2027. The fighter jet is expected to join the services by the end of the decade, which kind of coincides with the timeline informed by Chief of Air Staff VR Chaudhary, which is 2030. The Rs 9000 crore has already been approved by government for the development of prototype of this Mark II. The funding will be used for development of four prototypes, their testing and certification. The LCA Mark II, as we all know, is a heavier and much more capable aircraft than LCA Mark I and LCA Mark I Alpha or Mark I A variant. The Mark II fighter will be equipped with more powerful engine which is GF414 superior radar, better avionics and electronics and will be capable of carrying a higher weapons payload. The Mark II is 1350 mm longer, featuring canards and empty weight of 7.7 .7 tons, weapons load of 6.5 tons, internal fuel capacity of 3.3 tons and M2OW of 17.5 tons. The wings of LCO Mark II has been widened to carry bombs like SCALP which are heavier and weighs close to 1350 kg. The fighter jet has 11 hard points. As per the ADA project director, there is no single engine fighter aircraft on earth that can carry 8 to 10 beyond visual range missiles simultaneously. LC Mark II has been developed, keeping in mind the future beyond visual range combat capabilities. The Mark II is going to have a versatile weapons package. Now the another point mentioned by ADA project director for LCA Mark II is that the engine will be made in India. The LCA Mark II will have more indigenous content than Mark I and Mark I way. Initially, the fighter jet will have 75% indigenous content and will eventually reach 82%. The ADA project director further added that the engine will be manufactured in India. In this regard, we had MOU with GE for its manufacturing with 100% transfer of technology. With that, we will be touching over 90% indigenous content. Now this news sounds too good to believe as GE always had reservation in regards to transfer of technology. However, this is coming straight from ADA project director. It's also possible that some critical tech might not be shared and TO2 could be limited to enable 100% production and sourcing of parts from India. Still, this is big news as it will cut dependencies from foreign OEM for supplies of parts and further flourish the metallurgy and other ecosystem for engines in India. We did later more analysis of the G and HL deal. Back in August 2021, HL had signed Rs 5,375 crore contract with G Aviation for the supply of 99 G F404 engine for LCA Tejas. The then HAL Chairman and Managing Director R. Madhavan has informed that the cooperation will be further enhanced with the manufacturing of GF414 engines in India for the upcoming LCA Mark II program. So we can for sure confirm that GF41 engine which will power LCA Mark II will be made in India. This is even good news for AMCA program because it uses the same engine. The combined requirement of engine is going to be huge as Indian Air Force is planning to induct six squadrons of LCA Mark II and two squadrons of LCA Mark I, which will feature the G F414 engines. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.